Welcome to the Once Upon a Sketch screencast. My name is Norman Grock, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get an inked line in Adobe Illustrator. One thing you got to remember is there's lots of ways to accomplish the same goals in Illustrator. I'm going to show you a few of the ways that I like to use to get an inked line. The first thing we're going to want is a picture. So I have this picture that I did with Wilson Williams Jr. Scanned it in, dropped the opacity down to 15% so that I can see the dark lines when I'm inking. Over here you'll notice that I have no white on the fill and a black stroke. Go up to the brush tool, take a click, make sure I'm drawing on the right layer, and start drawing. Zoom in close. Ooh, that line's really thick and not really giving me the ink look that I want. You see it's very sharp. It almost looks like a calligraphy pen. So to change that, double tapping the paintbrush tool icon pulls up the paintbrush tool options. Essentially, this palette is Adobe's way of helping you smooth out your lines. My suggestion would be play with all these options everyone's preferences are different. For me personally, I've changed the edit selected points to six. I believe the default is normally 12. All of those settings are okay, so I'm just gonna click okay. Next, I'm going to want to get some pressure sensitivity, so I'm gonna make a custom brush. I go over to the brush palette tool, and you can see that it's selected on this one. I'm gonna want a circle, so I'm gonna click on this three-point round, double-click it. And notice that all of these are fixed. What I want is to use the pressure sensitivity with my Cintiq. So click the drop-down, let's go to pressure, and I'm not going to change any of these settings. Next, we've already got the diameter set to three, which is pretty close to what I want. And I'm going to change this to pressure as well. I'm going to change the variation to 3 as well. Click OK. Now let's see how the line is different. You can see that it's changed quite a bit and it really gives you a lot more control. You can really start to get the thicks and thins like the underlying drawing already have. Well, now this one in the middle doesn't fit, so I'm just going to delete it out and redraw it in. Whoops. You can see that it switched back to the other brush. I'm going to Command-Z that, go to my new brush, and continue drawing. Like I said at the beginning, there are several ways to do this. So, I have another way for you. There's this tool here called the Blob Brush Tool. You can give that a click. And so the difference between this brush is it is not a line tool, it is a fill tool. So we're going to need to swap to we're going to need to swap the black from the line to the fill color. Now I'm going to go in and draw with this brush. And you can see that you get the same sort of effect. But the difference being, this is a path that can only be changed by editing each individual point. Later on, if I come back and want to have a thicker stroke on these ones, I can go and I can adjust the line and make it thicker that way. Whereas if I want to do something with this, I'll have to go in and I'll have to add a stroke to it and increase the point size on that stroke to get a thicker line. And that's how you ha would adjust the width of this one. Normally I like to work with the line version just because it's easier to adjust. There you go. 
two different ways to get an ink line in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching. My name is Norm Brock. You can find links to my work at onceuponasketch.com. Be sure to follow us on Facebook. Happy sketching.